Hello everybody, hope you enjoyed that little playthrough of the Rev G4. The Rev G4 is the younger cousin of the other Rev pedal, the Rev G3. And just like the G3, the G4 has a couple different modes. What I was just playing there and what you heard in the actual playthrough, that was all on normal mode because it has normal mode, blue mode, and red mode. If you want to think of it as Superman and Flash, or as Ole England calls it, the Democrat and Republican modes. Not, I'm not getting political, I'm just making a joke like he did. Um, I'm gonna let you hear how both of those sound. So as you heard, like I said before, that was normal mode. This is going to be the blue mode. And what the red and blue modes do is they, um, they give you a little bit different flavor on certain frequencies in the distortion. So this is a blue mode. Makes it a little less drier. Um, I really like the blue mode. It accents some very, very nice frequencies. So let's move on to the red mode. Now the red mode, um, it's really massive and it's really, really thick. so thick and juicy on the red mode it just it's really good if like you're playing sludge or if you just want something to have a lot of support that's what the red mode is good for the thing that i love so much about this pedal is it's so easy to get a good tone so from what you heard in the playthrough and what i just played just now what i'm doing is, is i'm running uh, my guitar into the g4 and the g4 is connected to the return side of my 5150 combos effects loop and my 5150 is running into my two notes captor which is running into my interface into my computer and i'm using um two notes world of sound um ir um software and i'm using the rev 412 close back cab and it sounds really really great and when i first got this pedal the very first time i played it and i hooked it up i hooked it up through my cab and i got an amazing tone out of it in literally 30 seconds it, it was that easy i literally just i turned some of the eq knobs a little bit turned up the volume and i had like this a, this super killer tone that i like fell in love with and um this guitar by the way is my air cd 070 with some uh toshin toast and fishman um humbuckers in it and the, the guitar and the humbuckers and everything just got along so well with the pedal and it sounds so so good and and you can run it in front of a clean amp if you want. You can do like I did. You can run it in the effects loop of an amp if you want. Um, you can even run it in, in the effects in the effects loop of an axe effect in front of an axe effect with a Kemper. Well, the thing I like about it is it's so it's so versatile. It it does a variety of different tones. And like I said before, it was just so easy for me to get a tone out of it. And it's very adaptable. Like I was saying before, you can put it anywhere and it still retains that sound to sound really good and really thick. Now this pedal is a distortion pedal. It, it's kind of, it's modeled after the red channel on the Rev Generator 120, and the G3 is modeled after the uh, purple channel on the 120. And these pedals were meant to sort of be like an amp in the box, and they really do sound great, and they react like that. But you can also, if you want to use them, um, you can literally put this pedal with a couple of other ones and a power amp and go to town, and that can really be your amp. Um, if you want to put it on your pedal board and run it in front of it, if you want a little bit different flavor, you can definitely do that too. There's really no limitations. It's really however you see fit to use it. And another good thing about the pedal too is that um, it's very responsive. And the treble knob, you can crank it a lot um, and it still get really sound really good. I have it right now at about, uh, about 1 o'clock. responsive in that way the treble knob 
Um, you can it, you can turn it up. It'll get really bright if you want that brightness, but it also doesn't get too harsh. Overall, this pedal for me, it sounds fantastic. It does everything I want it to do. It it has that modern guitar tone that I think a lot of people are looking for, especially if you play like a lot of modern metal. It definitely you can definitely get that tone. Um, very very easy. It does clean up very well too. If you know we get some single coils turn the gain down It sounds fantastic like that overall this pedal is really good and I'm liking it a lot because it's pretty much all I've been playing whenever I feel like playing guitar But enough about me. What about you? What do you think about the Rev G4? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you hate to love it? Let me know in those comments down below and as for me, I'm gonna have to be out Peace.